so we back Champions League action this time bigger better and more important than ever before the semi-finals RB Leipzig versus Paris Saint-Germain now um, a bit of a confession to make I have gone and made a complete mess of it because we are 37 minutes into the game and I'm only starting recording now because my dumbass went and forgot to charge my camera before the game which meant I had to charge it for the first 37 or odd minutes for this game so yeah but of course PSG 1-0 up over RB Leipzig at this moment in time my thoughts on this match of course Marquinhos putting PSG ahead on 14 minutes Angel Di Maria's brilliantly in swinging ball met by Marquinhos on the head a brilliantly headed finish into the top corner no chance whatsoever for Galaxy in the Leipzig goal and just so far my thoughts on this game I think both sides have had their respective chances but I think PSG have been kind of the better team so far there's been a lot of chances created from the likes of Neymar and Mbappe who are once again taking control of this game but yeah I thought it was pretty even until PSG scored and then since then it's just been all PSG I mean Leipzig have barely managed to create anything past the 15th minute which yeah, of course this game is far from over we have seven minutes to go until the halftime interval and then 45 minutes plus after that so this game is still all to play for and there we go PSG punish yet another Leipzig defensive error two goals to nil now Angel Di Maria getting on the end of a pass from Neymar actually Neymar did flick it on from a Herrera pass but Di Maria on the half volley puts it past Galaxy. really poor defending once more from Leipzig they have been kind of dodgy today defensively they were a lot more solid than the last game but yeah RB Leipzig nil PSG 2 going into half time and barring a very very impressive Leipzig comeback it looks like PSG are on their way to the Champions League final but credit to PSG as well because they have taken the chances they have been given and just so far are controlling this game quite a lot and there is the half time whistle RB Leipzig nil PSG 2 Leipzig have it all to do in the second half if they are going to get back into this game which seems very very unlikely because PSG have been on top for most of the game and uh, yeah as I said Leipzig have built themselves a massive mountain to climb now if they want to get to this Champions League final they're going to need something absolutely spectacular in the second half but all I'm going to say is top three players in the world at this moment in time other than Ronaldo and Messi Robert Lewandowski Kevin De Bruyne and Neymar I mean that guy some of the things he does with a football is just absolutely absurd like honestly and that's even being harsh on Kylian Mbappe because he definitely deserves to be in that echelon as well but Neymar is just on a different planet to any footballer I've ever seen but yeah as I said Red Bull Leipzig nil Paris Saint-Germain 2 at half time and uh, yeah PSG are looking likely to be going to the Champions League final playing either Bayern or Lyon however you can never be certain in football and Leipzig are going to need an inspired performance in the second 45 so it should be interesting because of course if Leipzig get the next goal it is back on game on and there's the third PSG goal yet more really poor defending from RB Leipzig there I have to say after promising so much at both ends of the pitch against Atletico Madrid in the quarterfinals they've been really really poor at both ends tonight really poor for Mukiele who claims a foul in the corner literally didn't get touched and went down and stayed down and uh, PSG played on it was whipped in and Bernat got the header on Neymar tried to steal it at the back post but it was already in so uh, yeah PSG 3-0 up now home and holes for the Champions League final by the looks of it and uh, yeah thoroughly deserved because as poor as Leipzig have been PSG have done very very well to capitalise on those errors and uh, take their chances ultimately so yeah I was literally going to say as well I thought Leipzig actually started the second half not too badly they were getting on the ball they were trying to create something more than they did in the first half but ultimately another defensive mistake from their part PSG took advantage of and yeah it's going to look like a very long road back to Germany now for RB Leipzig they've completely blown their chance really and I hate to say that because they've been very very good against Atletico Madrid and previously as well Leipzig are doing the best they can to try and get a goal back in these last 15 minutes or so they're literally all camped inside the PSG half of course even if they score one it's still an absolute mountain for them to climb but if they get that one back then they can just go on from there and they've looked a lot better these last few minutes as well so hopefully for them they can at least get one goal back and that is that Paris Saint-Germain make their way to the Champions League final of course this Sunday with a 3-0 victory over RB Leipzig quite a comprehensive win for them as well and uh, yeah to be quite honest it was one of those matches where the winning team was very very good but the losing team just wasn't really up to standard whatsoever I mean the Leipzig team we saw defeat Atletico Madrid last week and the Leipzig team we saw tonight was just completely different but all credit to PSG as they make their way to the Champions League final for the first time in God knows how long certainly the first time since they've got this massive takeover I mean they've been perennial bottle jobs of the Premier League over the last few years but finally they've made it to the final and now it is all about taking down either Bayern Munich or their French compatriots Lyon in the final I mean obviously for Leipzig it was going to be kind of difficult without their star man Timo Werner who's of course joined Chelsea but to be fair that really shouldn't be an excuse that's used for them because they did do all right without him against Atletico Madrid and they definitely do need a brilliant replacement for Timo Werner in the summer because Yusuf Pulsen up front I don't think is the answer for them he's been really poor in the last two games for them even the win against Atletico Madrid and yeah defensively today RB Leipzig really really poor I mean all three goals they conceded were easily avoidable but yeah in terms of the standout performance from the PSG perspective I mean look no further than Kylian Mbappe and Neymar two absolutely world-class ballers Neymar once again lighting up the show Mbappe too the two of them play like they're in a FIFA street game or something like some of the things they do with a football is just absolutely ridiculous I thought Angel Di Maria did quite well as well on the wing for PSG they defended quite well as well I think Marquinhos was very good in the holding midfield role of course normally he does play centre back but Thiago Silva and Prenel Kempembe did very very well in the centre back slots and uh, yeah to be fair I think that all 
11 men that started the game as well as the substitutes all played their part in PSG going through to the Champions League final. I think it was thoroughly deserved from their end. And yeah, hopefully for the sake of the neutral fans like myself, we see a very good Champions League final. I'm kind of hoping Bayern Munich do do the job over Lyon tomorrow simply because I think that Bayern Munich versus Paris Saint-Germain would be a lot more entertaining than PSG and Lyon. But if Lyon win, I will still give them the credit that they would deserve. And uh, yeah, that's where we're going to end this video. I'm sorry if this video was kind of a mess. I promise in future I will have things planned out before the game actually starts in terms of recording. But yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're looking to hit 400 subscribers. We just did hit 300 subscribers, which was absolutely brilliant. So I'd like to thank you guys for the support on the channel. And uh, yeah, see you guys in my next video. See ya.